Josh, can you put into words the emotions as you uh, walk off that court one last time? Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's one word that would describe it. Um, kind of the culmination of four years here. A lot of memories. Um, you know, a lot of struggles, a lot of sweat, a lot of blood. Uh, all put into one moment kind of felt like. Josh, uh, Josh Scott, um, after the ball was tipped, were you able to, I mean, make it a normal game or did you kind of catch yourself even during the game going up and down with those kind of last game thoughts? Uh, kind of hit me a little bit when I got my name announced for the last time. Um, to be honest, that kind of just kind of hit me that it's the last time I hear my name get called out of course of that center. Um, you get to come out and start. And, you know, for me, it was just one of those moments that, you know, I kind of had to help the team go. Josh Scott, did you, uh, did you plan to call timeout with the 25 seconds left to get Eli right in the game, or is that kind of a spirit? Uh I heard Cook Boyle saw the ball, big throw to me, and he just let Josh call timeout. Um, so I called timeout, and I'm really happy we did to get them in. Uh, nothing, I don't think people really understand that these guys, you know, they could have started and they didn't because they wanted to win. Um, not to say we won if they did start, but, you know, that's the sacrifice sacrifices that, you know, make the team. Um, and they sacrificed something that was a special day for them so that we could get the W tonight. And there's not enough that we said about both Brett Brady and Eli Stalls. XT, kind of the same thing for you. Uh, once once you got in there and, and, and got going, did it feel like a normal game to you throughout, or did you kind of have to, carp carp uh, uh, you know, just block it out a little bit and, and play your game? I mean, uh, going into it, we like, talked about it multiple times, but um, just during the pregame warm up, it was almost more where I had to uh, <clears throat> get myself more focused and not really to pay attention to it being the last one here in Coors. Um, I mean, as far as it finishing here the way it did, it's really sweet because obviously I'm going to miss this place, but I'm happy to go out with the win. Josh, you've had a couple of games this season where you struggle shooting the ball, but today everything. Josh Fortune, this is a, a couple games in a row where you've had a really efficient shooting night and low turnovers. Uh, is there any particular adjustment you've made in the last couple weeks to, to kind of get on this roll? Uh, just to make a simple play, uh, run back, man, with confidence, uh, confidence in myself, which is just going out there, just kind of uh, play with great guys, uh, great, great coaches, and they tell us all just to play with um, confidence and aggressiveness. So. Just got, obviously, senior days are a lot more fun when there's a lot of good stuff ahead of you afterward. As this team sits now, 21 wins, looking forward to what's up uh, up ahead. What, what's just your thoughts on on, on the finish now? Uh, we're just going to finish strong and take one game at a time. Um, you know, I think XC said the best text to me. He said, you know, we're going to go out as winners. Um, and that's the plan. It's been the goal. Um, and we're going to take, you know, the mojo one we've won this entire season and, you know, make the final push. Um, for Josh, Scott, and XT, after the kind of emotional release of this game, is it going to be hard to be focused and That's what Josh was just talking about, just taking one game at a time. So, I mean, whatever days we get off, we're, we're still going to work that day, um, whether it be treatment or getting shots or whatever. But I think our focus is still out there. We you know that there's more basketball to be played. So, you know, we're just going to say, hey, that's the next game, which is Utah. And I'll be honest, I think it's important for us to pay back. They beat us on our home court. Uh, we'd like to get them back, and we're not going to shy around from saying that, you know, that's something that all of us want. Does it add a little bit more that if you guys beat Utah, there's a possibility there's a top four seed in mind for Vegas? I mean, that's, that's an option, but, you know, in terms of, I don't think that's really what I think our goal is. Like I said, it's payback. 
Josh, Josh, next to you, you guys kind of went back and forth this week talking about if there's going to be some tears on the court. Did it come out? Nope, not at all. Neither of us. No tears. I probably will save all my tears for the banquet. And honestly, uh, probably the last final goodbye. And, but no, no tears. There's moments where I got close, but it didn't happen. Thank goodness, but I don't need to meet all of you guys taking pictures of me that way. <laughs> Anything else for the players? All right, thanks, guys.